draft. So over here on the right side of the screen, you're going to see a bunch of energies, kinetic, potential, and total, first one at a time, and then all together for three or four different situations. In this first situation, I've got this guy on a skate ramp that kind of aims him toward a house down here. I'm going to have the computer graph his potential energy over here as he goes down the skate ramp. Before I do that, I want you to take a second and think to yourself, what does the guy's potential energy, what is it like up here at the top? What's it like up here at the bottom? And notice that right here, this dotted line is where we're setting the zero for the height for potential energy. So what does this potential energy look like up here at the top? Down here at the height equals zero. And what does it look like in the middle? In your head, try to make a prediction for what you think a potential energy graph would look like. So take a second and make that prediction in your head. Okay, now that you've got your prediction in your head, let's let him go. And over here on the right, you're going to see potential energy graph. So make sure you're looking at that graph on the right as the skateboarder goes down. Okay, so notice what happened. The skateboarder started with high potential energy, and as he went down the ramp, his potential energy decreased. Now let's take a look at his kinetic energy. So I'm going to pause the video, bring the skater back. Now just let's just look at kinetic energy. So take a second to think about what his kinetic energy looks like up here at the top, what it looks like in the bottom, what it looks like in the middle. Think about what his kinetic energy will look like. Make that prediction in your head. And here we go. Okay. So notice the skateboarder starts with very little kinetic energy, and then it increases, and then when he hits the ground, it changes again. So now let's bring him back, and let's look at his total energy the whole time. So total mechanical energy. Think about what his total energy is here, what it will be at the end, what it be in the middle. Make a prediction in your head for what you think the graph of total mechanical energy will look like. Now that you've got that prediction, here we go. Okay, so notice his total energy stays the whole, same the whole time. That should make sense to you. Your total energy is Ke plus Pe, and so your total energy should not change. Ke plus Pe should not change. Now, let's look at I think I gotta get him to go away. Let's look at kinetic, potential, and total all at once. So we're gonna do all those three graphs at once and we're gonna talk about how they relate to each other. Here we go. All three graphs, go. Okay, so look at this. The potential decreases the whole time. The kinetic increases the whole time. But at any point, if you took the kinetic and the potential and added them together, you still get this total. Whether you took the potential and kinetic right here, in the middle, or over here. Everywhere your total mechanical energy stays the same. And as I imagine you predicted when you went down the ramp, his potential got smaller and smaller because his height gets smaller and smaller. And his kinetic gets bigger and bigger because as his potential goes away, you can't be losing energy. So all of his energy is turning into kinetic. And the whole time he keeps the total energy. And if you're wondering what would happen if there's friction, I'll just do that one real fast for fun. So with friction, here we go just for fun. Notice that the total mechanical energy is getting slightly smaller. Sorry, no it's not. The total mechanical energy still stays the same, but if you were to try to add together the kinetic and potential, they wouldn't equal the total. You'd have to do kinetic potential plus thermal. So sorry about that. The total stays the same no matter what. It's just that you now need to add kinetic plus potential plus thermal from the friction. All right, that's it for the first one. The other two should go faster now that I've shown you what's going on and I don't have to explain it the whole time.